Hey guys, Prime Skylanders here, back for another video, and this is going to be my top three Skylanders of all time. Hopefully you guys uh, will like them, um, if so let me know down below, and I also want you guys uh, down below to tell me your guys' top three favorite Skylanders of all time, like level wise. It can be out of any of the five games, or even the six games, if you guys think you're going to like the two levels that we've already seen. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Starting off at number three, it's the future of Skylands. This run of the game premiered in Trap Team. It was a really good level, really good graphics. I really loved the whole idea of it, and just the whole imagination of going what the future would look like in the this actual digital Skylanders game. Really cool, and you, this was actually you were able to actually catch um, Wolfgang in this level, which was a really big deal to most people at that time. Moving on to my second most favorite level is gotta be the Spellpunk Library. This is a really good level. It premiered in Superchargers. Now, Superchargers had some really good levels. I will say that. It, r it really is. So, the Spellpunk Library, for you guys who don't know, is all about you going through these books. And then you guys are actually like... I don't know really how to explain it. Here's the photo. Like, drawn out characters in the book. Really cool. I loved putting on different characters just to see how the sketch art would look, basically. If that make much, makes much sense to you guys. But it was really good. I also loved the Spellpunks villains entirely. They were a great villain. They were all throughout uh, Spiral's Adventures. My fa Those were my favorite villains to pretty much fight were the Spellpunks. So to get a whole level devoted to them was crazy and awesome. And definitely a really good big, big fan moment for me. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of other uh, Skyliner fans. Moving on to number one. This was actually an adventure pack. There's no way. This has to be my number one pick. It is Ghost Roaster's Dark Light Crypt level. This level is still to date my number one favorite level of all time. You got the fight. Oh, I forgot his name. The giant eyeball, floating eyeball thing. O Oculus, actually. That's his name. There we go. You get to go around shooting cannons. You get to go around through all these mazes. Ghost Roaster looked amazing in this game. Oh my gosh. It was a perfect level. And then we even got the experience in Giants, but sadly in Soup Swap Force they took out this uh, level. So you get to go back to uh, Giants or Swap or Sparrow's Adventure to actually get to play it. Hopefully, though, I feel like they can maybe hopefully bring the adventure packs back. Apparently, all you have to do is update it, the features like for jumping and stuff, as of that I'm told. That is pretty much it, guys. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm talking super quiet, is because people are being really loud. And I'm trying not to uh, disturb them to come bother me, by the way, just saying that. But yeah, guys, so I really hope you guys did like my top three picks. These were some really great levels. And I really hope um, that we get some more levels just like these. These are the th and, I mean, these are memorable. I remember these in really good detail. So that's how I know they're good levels. Hopefully, and Imaginators, we'll get some really good levels that are really good and memorable that we'll remember and make uh, my next, maybe we'll make it into a top five list, or if I do a top three list, might bump one of these off and put a spot in my list. Anyways, guys, comment down below your list. I really want to know. Thank you guys. <laughs>